What's going on with you project-wise? Well, music-wise, I finally have my long-awaited single, which is called Magic and Makeup. And the video came out as well. And it's getting some good feedback. Of course, you know, everybody's not going to like everything, but I'm just blessed to, you know what I mean, have another opportunity to get back at it. Sure. Now, when is the last time you actually put out a single? This is actually my first single, solo. This is my first actual single, my first single. I have other songs that just got leaked out and everything, but I didn't put them out there. Okay. Because, like, how long ago did you actually leave Destiny's Child? Oh, God. Um, that was, like, 2001. 2001. So, 14 years have passed since you were in that musical group. Like, what have you been doing music-wise this whole time? Well, music-wise, I've still been, you know, working and stuff. Um, a lot of people didn't know that after Destiny's Child, I was signed to Fabulous and Street Family. So I was in New York for three years working with them. And um, I was putting out other projects, like doing um, singles for independent films, which I own a film company. It's an independent film company called One Love Pictures. And I was blessed to have the opportunity to actually create my own projects. And the first film I did was called Single Black Female. And um, I executive produced that. I co-wrote it. I casted it. I starred in it. I music supervised it. Put eight of my songs in it. And I got distribution for it. So it was out in Blockbusters when there were Blockbusters still. Um, online, Redbox, all of that. And um, I got my producer credits up, you know. So that was a good thing. I was able to, you know, put my music, I said, out, like I said, through the film and stuff, too. So that's pretty much what I've been doing more of um, was the film, the acting, and then independently putting my music into different projects. Do you feel like you're more passionate about film or about music? Do I feel like I'm more passionate about film or music? Uh, I mean, I'm, ooh, that's a hard one. I mean, music, I sing every day, even if I'm not, you know what I mean, recording. Um, acting, I just love theater. I mean, I started out doing theater when I was eight years old, so I was able to sing and dance and get the opportunity to do that. But, um, ooh, if I had to choose one, <sighs> that's hard, but that's hard. I mean, like I said, I probably have to go with music because I can't live without music on a daily, so music. This whole time, I mean, during these last 14 years, you, you put out the film projects, you worked on those. Was there a reason why you didn't say, you know, I'm going to go get a record deal or I'm going to put together an album independently and put it out and really push this music part? Because you just told me that music is like the most important thing in your life. Right. Um, well, you know, like after um, a couple of situations, obviously, that I've been through and everything, I kind of was, I wouldn't say like turned off by the music business, the business side of it, I was kind of turned off by for a second. And as far as doing theater and films and stuff like that, it's a lot easier um, as far as people you have to deal with. I mean, there's assholes in every line of work, but, you know, I kind of had to step back and it wasn't paying me enough money and I didn't have the right team around me and pretty much you know this is not meant to do by yourself and I had a business company as far as with the film and everything so I had more team players that were pulling me into other projects as well as wanting to help me more than more so the music side. I mean that is true because I've, I've worked on both the music side and the film side right. and if you put together a decent looking film that, that's shot well and looks okay and there's some people who could you know more or less act in it you could find a way to put it out and distribute it and find a place for it whereas you could put together a good music project and it can go nowhere right unfortunately sad but true yeah unfortunately well because I think there's less of a a barrier to entry with music especially these days I mean anyone with a you know you can record a whole album on your iPhone right Right. You know, whereas in terms of film, you got to have a lot more people involved. You have to have more money. You have to have more expertise. You have to do a, a whole lot more. Right. You know, do you think that being part of Destiny's Child, you were really kind of embraced into like the, the film and theater world? Um, well, like I said, I've been doing theater since I was eight years old. So it wasn't like something that I just got, got into. I've always enjoyed doing it. Um, but people didn't know 
that, you know, people don't know everything, you know, obviously that's why there's amazing people like you who get to, you know, share some insight to what people don't know aside from what they just hear every day, you know. But no, um, yeah, I, I definitely, I think that people definitely, it doesn't hurt, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But if I couldn't act or I couldn't do it, then they wouldn't care anyway, so. <laughs> no, I feel you. So, so the new single, Magic and Makeup. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. Magic and Makeup basically is um, an empowerment song. Women stand up. I mean, be brave and be proud. Basically, I mean, you know, just telling the world, you know, that do you believe what you see or are you getting really to know me? Like, you know, it's like every time you see Farrah, is it really me you see? Or are you, you seeing tabloids? Are you seeing whatever, you know? And everybody can relate to that because in everyone's life and any type of job you have even if you're working at you know you, you could be the manager of Burger King and people could be kissing your butt because they might want to be the assistant manager you know what I mean so it's just basically why are you you know messing with me do you really like me for my heart and my soul or for the magic and makeup you're actually gonna be writing a book or you you've written a book no <laughs> No, I'm not writing a book. I don't know where that came from. I actually saw something came across my desk, like Farrah Franklin is writing a book and like a tell-all, something like that. I mean, have you heard this? I have. I actually was nicely woken up to like 1,200 messages because they were like, have you seen Media Takeout? And I'm like, no, I was sleeping. I'm watching the back of my eyelids. So I go to Media Takeout and I'm like, wow. And, and to end to sum it all up, not only am I writing a tell-all book, it's about Beyonce's nose and her boobs, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I would, no, if I was gonna do that, it would've happened a long time ago, and I'm not there, you know, that's not, if I'm gonna do a book, it's gonna be about myself, and you know, who knows if they even get a chapter, but I'm not gonna write a book about someone else, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, I mean, we're about to interview her. I'm about to bring this up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay. But there's no, there's definitely no book coming. No book. No, no. You have your, your, your single out. What else can we look forward to from Farrah? Well, um, like I was saying before, I, I own my own film company. So I have another film that I did called Chained. It's a scary movie that will be coming out. I did another independent movie in Atlanta since I've been out here called Rated ATL which should be a hood classic. I got a lot of cool people in there. And um, I am performing at WBLS on the 18th for my first show at the Sisters of uh, the Expo, Sisters of the Circles. And um, what else, what else, what else, what else? I am currently filming, I own my own film company, so I'm not interested right now in doing anyone else's reality TV show unless it's the right one for me. Um, so I'm filming right now the process of me coming back, like, you know, just auditions, auditioning for management in the studio, behind the scenes. Um, I'm going to be a part of a Thanksgiving chili giveaway out here in Atlanta as well the day afterwards. So trying to give back and, you know what I mean, just work. When, when you just said, I'm not interested in being in anyone else's reality show, have you been offered to be in reality shows? Oh my God, I've been offered to be in almost everyone from every city and I've turned them all down. Okay, so love and hip hop? Yeah, but no. <laughs> okay, so you've been offered to be in love and hip hop. Yeah. What, what, what are some of the other ones? Like Love of Ray J, oh, uh, Flavor of Love? Like Oh hey, my hey. God, Vlad, are you trying to insult me? If I'm gonna do a TV show like that, I'm gonna be the one choosing. I'm not gonna be getting chose. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, I'm, I I actually did get um, another one of those TV shows. I forgot what it's called, but uh, yeah, they wanted me to do the dating thing and all that, and I turned that down as well. But um, I did a cameo on um, Housewives of Atlanta, just like it's a classy little cameo, nothing major or whatever. Yeah, like I said, I'm more interested in doing like mainstream stuff than um, reality. Reality can help, but it can also hurt too. So. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I, I've turned down reality shows myself. I've, I've done a couple of cameos on Love and Hip Hop, but they've actually asked me to be part of a, you know, a reality show, and I turned it down. Not quite my thing. I'm guilty of watching it. 
You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, as far as being a part, a cast, full cast member, I haven't seen any shows that I would want to be a part of necessarily right now. Don't blame you. All Empire. Good. I'll be a part of Empire of Power. Me, like, I, I, I don't gang bang. You know, I don't, I'm not into the, to the gang things as far as, um, you know, having problems. Oh, we don't, we don't rock with them, you know. So whoever, whoever is paying me for my services, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm going I'm to execute. You know, I'm going to do what you want me to do, you know. The pussy was good. The pussy was good. Yes. As my mama said, the boy got his first piece and lost his damn mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that was your first first time you that had sex? That was my first time. It hurts first time, yeah. 